All right, so leap code 79. Mm, given an M by N grid of characters called board, which is basically this, is basically an array of arrays. As you can see here, it's one big array and then it contains lots of small arrays, an array there for row one, array there for row two, array for row three. And then we're also given a string called word. In this case, it's A, B, C, C, E, D. Uh, return true if the word exists in the grid. So just by eyeballing it, we can see that A, B, C, C, E, D is within this grid. Oh, uh, before watching this, you might want to put it in a faster playback speed. Okay. Uh, uh, so basically, we can connect the words vertically or horizontally, not diagonally. And we can't use the same letter twice or more than once. Okay. So we, if the word was A, B, A, we couldn't go A and then B we couldn't go back to A because we already used it, kind of like Scrabble. So let me take a moment and write a, a simpler grid. Okay, so let's say this is our grid, A, A, C, B, and then this is our word. We're looking for A, A, C. Um, just by eyeballing it, you could see this word is within this grid if we started from here went here, here, AAC. So this function exists, should return true, right? If it didn't, if this wasn't in here, it would have to return false. So how do we do this? So first the input is the board and the word, right? So first we get the dimensions. We're gonna use a recursive depth for search, DFS in this technique. So first we get the number of rows. So just this is just the dimension. So board length. So how many rows? One and two. I'm just writing the indexes. So number of rows is two. Number of columns is two. So just get any row and it should give you the same amount of columns because it's a rectangle, right? One, two, so that's two. And then, and then this is a depth for search. So basically the high level overview of it is we're gonna first check this. If we were to start from this letter, check it. And then if it matches, okay, there's a match. Um, we're gonna cross it out so that we don't run run into it again. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna check the top. No, it's out of bounds, right? Okay, so we're gonna check the right. Okay, it's equal to this, so cross that out, right? And then now we're gonna check the top, it's out of bounds. Check the right, out of bounds. Check the bottom out of bounds, um, actually it's, it's in bounds, but it's not equal to C. So, and then check, so check the left, um, it's a dash, so it's not equal to C, right? So, so we, so we didn't reach the end of it. So we're gonna reset that. And then instead of going right, after we found this. Now we're gonna check the, the bottom. So basically the pattern is check top, right, bottom, left. So since we checked the top, we checked the right. Now we're checking the bottom. So bottom C is not equal to A. So that's not possible. So check the left uh, out of bounds. So once we reached once we check the top right, bottom left, which is basically this, uh, we move on to the next 
letter if we started from here. If we reset, it's not a dash anymore. So we reset so that we can check. If we started from here, we can check the left side, right? So that's the basic overview of it. Um, so let's go into the details. So this portion, as I said, is, um, so we start from row zero, column zero. So this is basically this. Start from here and then run the DFS with that. And then zero means we're starting from the first letter, right? So let me draw that out. So DFS zero, zero, zero. And then, so if I equals to word length, so that means if I, this is I, if it reaches three, the word length is three, right? Uh, in this example. So if it reaches three, that means we reached the end and we completed the word. But in this first case, I is just zero. So we don't return true. We haven't completed the word yet. So, and then this checks if it's out of bounds. So if row is less than zero, so if row is like out of bounds here, or if column is less than zero, it'd be here, that's out of bounds. So return false. So we didn't complete the word. Or if the, the character we're looking at is not equal, the character we're looking at is not equal to the character in the word, then return false, right? We didn't find the word. But in the first case, A does equal A. So don't return false. Um, so we have to keep track of where we've been. So character, this is just saving uh, the character so that when we reset it, we could, this will reset it with this. But so character A, so board zero, zero, A, so character gets A. And then so board zero, zero gets dash, just so it doesn't duplicate. Okay, and then, so that's where we've been. So, so I now moves on to here. Uh, this, <clears throat> these are these four, right? So row minus one is minus one. Uh, since we found one letter, right? I plus one. So I plus one, now we're moving on to the next letter. That's why that's there. Or DFS, and then this is just this. So zero, but column one. I'll write it down and explain it. DFS, it's, it's kind of small, so I have to simplify it. Uh, one, zero, one, and then uh, zero, one, one. Okay, let me uh, explain it. So this checks the top, right? Negative one for the row, same column, but move on to the next. So that checks the top, and then this checks the right, this checks the bottom, this checks the left, right? So these three go on pause while this one executes. Since uh, row is, so we haven't, the word length three, I is one, so we haven't reached the end of it. So don't return true. 
So in this one, rho is less than zero because it's, it's out of bounds, right? So this returns false. So that returns false. Now we run this one, which was here when I'm paused. So that's basically just this. Uh, so basically we're comparing this to this. Yes, it is equal. So let's save. Let's so don't return false. Let's save character A, right? Save that and then cross it out. And then now we call on these four again. So basically, we check the top, right, bottom, left, and then we we match that, but. We're going to check now to see if C is, is there. And basically, this calls the top, which is row minus 1, which is 1, same column, and then 2 this time. So we're on the third, right? And then same. Row, let me uh, write it down. Okay, so this check checks the top. So row minus one, and then column one, and then two. So it's out of bounds anyway. So this returns false. Zero, two, two out of bounds is false. One, one, it's in bounds, but the letter B is not equal to C. So that's false. Uh, and then we go back zero zero two, so dash is not equal to c. So that okay. So, so all of these are false. This one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, so result becomes false. Uh, now, uh, now we reset because we haven't found it yet, we reset this to make it available again. So if we were to go down and then right and then up, it's still possible, right? So we reset, the, so character was A, so we, So row zero, column one gets A again. Okay, and then return the result, which is false. And then where does this go? It goes here. So false again. Keep doing that. So basically that means top was false. Um, if we went right, that was false. Now we're gonna check the bottom. So this is a very long algorithm. Um, Notice we're still on the first letter, right? So we're, and then we're gonna check if we were to go down. So that's row one, column zero, and then and then if if C was A equal to A. It's not, so just return that, that becomes false. And then check the left, which is this, out of bounds, return false. So all the, again, these return false, right? If we were to start from uh, here, zero, zero, but so, it resets, resets because of this. So now column gets plus plus. So column becomes one. So basically, if we were to start from here this time. And so it matches. So 
So it checks it, it checks the top. Out of bounds, right? Out of bounds, bottom, not equal to A. And then A is equal to A. So it matches. Now this checks the top, out of bounds, right? It's a dash. Bottom, it matches. So I moves to three. And then it returns true. And then this returns true. And then this returns true. So basically, but if it didn't find a word, it basically returned false at the end. So let's see how well I did, if this even works. <laughs> Faster than 59%, uh, use less memory than, okay, 62%, use less memory than 48%, not bad. Um, so in terms of time complexity, it's O of, so how many times do we run this? So let's go line by line. So this is constant. We're just assigning a variable. No matter how big your board is, it'll just be one integer. So this is constant. Also number of columns is constant. It's just an integer. And then this is just a declaration. So how many times does this uh, execute? So it executes m times, which is row, m times n, which is column, the number of columns, times DFS, right? How, what's the time complexity of DFS? Uh, it is basically, uh, so this is constant. This is constant, constant. We're just reassigning stuff. Um, and then this, it calls it four times. So for every, every time you, every time you match a letter, it calls it four times. So it could potentially be four to the, how many times? however long this word you're searching for is. So the length of the word, word length. Four to the power of the word length, right? Because if your word was super long, so let's say we're here, right? We matched, so that's one, two, three, four. So that's four times. And then we matched here, one, two, three, four. That's four times. And then we matched here, one, two, three, four. So four to the power of the length of the word, right? So, um, so yeah, actually it might be word length uh minus one which is a constant so so you could simplify it to four to the power of the word length that's your time complexity your space complexity is let's see if you so this is constant space because uh it's just an integer constant space uh, th these are just loops, comparison. There's no extra space created as your board uh, increases. Um, but so this is just comparing. So no extra space, no extra space, constant space. No matter how big your board is, uh, it'll just be one character, right? Now, the extra space comes here. So the extra space comes from here. Like how high does this call stack? Because this one uh, takes up space. So if, if it goes on pause a lot and then creates a new stack and then goes on pause, 
creates a new stack, goes on pause, creates a new stack. How high does the stack go? When, when does it pause? It pauses whenever it finds a match, right? So if it keeps finding matches, the stack will go higher and higher. So if the number of work, a number of letters is a lot in your word that you're trying to find, that's how high the stack will be. So, so it'll be word dot length time complexity. If your word gets bigger, the more space is used. Okay, so hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Until next time.